I go to the movies. It was about going to the gym and getting cut. But that's not true. It was called Uncut Gems, starring Adam the Sandler. And this is not the normal Adam Sandler movie that is dumb with the goofy voices. It is the Adam Sandler movie that is that is good with a slightly goofy voice, but not a funny goofy voice. This is a serious movie, and he plays an awful human being <laughs> that has gambling problems and is bad to his family and and owns some sort of jewelry pawn shop or just a jewelry shop or something. It's a little weird because it seems like it's like got all this weird security and stuff more than a normal little store would have so I don't know a bunch of a bunch of crazy stuff with that but uh yeah so but it was very good and it was more artsy than I was expecting it to be like there's this whole thing about going into the gyms and going in and out of different things it's like oh they're doing some art you don't expect that from the Adam Sandler movie. But I don't really know the name of any of the other actors. But uh, apparently the guys that that wrote this movie wrote another movie that uh, is supposed to be pretty good too. Is it like Good Life or something? I don't know. I haven't seen it. But people say that's really good too. I might have got the name wrong. But whatever it is. That people like to talk about when they talk about the guys that directed this movie but so uh yeah adam sandler has done other serious movies like he did a movie called punch drunk love a long time ago and i remember thinking that was boring at the time and one thing you could say about the Suncut gems movie is it is not boring at all <laughs> basically the movie is about I, and I've seen the trailer a few times, so he owes people money, and it's uh, a movie about him moving money around to try to keep people off his back a little bit while trying to get, like, a big a big hit, you know, so that he could pay everybody off. And, uh, and it's super tense. <laughs> it's like, it's always, like, it keeps going and going and going and there's no time to really read because i think the movie is supposed to they're trying to put the the audience in the same an anxiety you know level as adam sandler's character but uh yeah this kind of <laughs> this movie isn't like a whodunit it isn't like a there's no sorts of mystery or anything weird it's just like <laughs> it tells you everything that's happening it's just about how is he gonna get out of this is he gonna get out of this and uh, I don't know I'm trying to think of movies that are kind of like that they're just real tense and make you feel awkward the whole time I can't think of it but it is a really good movie I think uh, he might be in entitled he might be, he should certainly get nominated for some sort of award for this because this is this has got to be his best his best acting it's the most like actual acting i think i've ever seen him do you know i remember he was in another kind of semi-serious movie called spanglish at some point most of his other movies you know obviously everybody knows his original stuff the billy madison and the the Happy Gilmore and all that stuff that's considered his heyday. But then he did a bunch of other movies, you know, like the Grown Ups movies and the... the <laughs> there was some movie where he played his own sister. That was awful. Jack and Jill, maybe, was the name of that? I don't, I don't really remember. But... <laughs> he, I think he was in that a movie called Click or something with a remote control <laughs> ah. but it's uh, not his best work obviously <laughs> but uh yeah but this movie it's real it's a real movie it's serious it takes itself serious it doesn't take itself too serious 
there's just enough art in it to put it, you know, over the, over the edge of being like the run of the mill thing, but not so much that you're like, oh, these guys are up their own butts. It's just a really surprisingly good movie <laughs> that Adam Sandler happens to be the star of. And this movie is him. It is, there are side characters, but they all of them really are supporting character, characters. This isn't like an ensemble cast where everybody has their own arc and all that sort of stuff. This movie is just about him being this character. And he does a really good job. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, a lot of it, a lot of the movie revolves around sports. And I don't watch sports at all. But the way that they made it so integral to the anxiety level of the movie, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> you know, oh. Are they going to win? Is it going to win? Is something going to, you know, oh, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Revolving around sports. And that's like basketball particularly. And, you know, just him being so into the game. Because he has, because it's not just, he's not just watching it for fun. It's like his actual life depends on it. So he's like really into this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm surprised Adam Sandler's in a movie that's that's this good. So, uh, kudos to him, and kudos to the to the brothers that made the movie, and we're like, we gotta get Adam Sandler to do this because I've seen him in an interview. Adam Sandler in an interview say, yeah, they wrote this like ten years ago, and they tried to give it to me, and my manager was like, no, <laughs> he wouldn't do that, and then. <laughs> You know, and they tried to get somebody else, but it didn't work. So then they went back to Adam Sandler again. And he finally looked at the script. He's like, yeah, I'll do this. And it's a good thing he did. It's like, I think a lot of people had kind of written off Adam Sandler. You know? But he could totally have a career as a serious movie guy. <laughs> if he takes if he takes good roles. You know? <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, Adam Sandler and the Uncut Gems of the movie is actually really pretty good. Who knew?